Um, but you know, the musically, since you know, I should stick to talking about things I know about, which is music. I think that that was probably just the best shit that ever happened and ever will happen. Like that, sixty-five to to seventy, there was you know, there's, <clears throat> it just sort of exploded in all different directions, and a lot of things happened that maybe they couldn't happen now. Or even two decades ago, they couldn't have happened. As a musician, what do you think was the catalyst? Like, what made them go from the '50s sound to the '60s? Just experimentation and right. and mind, whatever you know, looking for different ways of life. Right. Philosophically speaking, maybe I think what they were all writing about. Or, but I mean, and then some guys were just pushing the, the sonic limitations of the studio. Like Hendrix didn't really do that much drugs. You know what I mean? The guy was all just really? about like. I mean, yeah, he partied, but he wasn't like a, a druggie, you know. He probably ate acid on stage a couple times, and both of those, I think he was spiked. Really? Yeah, and the dude, he's just a serious blues head, and they wanted to stretch out and uh, really push what the limitations of the gear at that time in the studio, you know. Well, I don't, I don't only want to have eight channels. What, what if we had 16? And like, some of the experimentation and things that guys like him and Pink Floyd and uh, – later bands you know ALO just really pushing the parameters of what you could do with a traditional style of music in terms of arrangement and how you frame that I always assumed that because he got arrested in Toronto with heroin that he did drugs I feel like if you have heroin on you you got drugs did he get busted I thought it was barbiturates or it's a good question I'm pretty sure it was heroin I don't think he ever like no? I, I could be wrong man you might be right you might um, be right what does Wikipedia it say? says a small amount of heroin and hashish. Huh. huh. That's chasing Toronto. the dragon. Yeah. See, so when I read that, I'm like, mm, how much do we know about what Jimi Hendrix did during his day? Like, Nothing. people don't know how high I'm getting. I know you. <laughs> how, do they, how would they? How would they know? I mean, if they see us get high on the show, yeah. they know how high I got today. Right. But they don't even because I could get high before I go running. I might get high when I'm sitting home to write. I have people tell me they that I'm high when I'm not even high. Yeah, yeah, but you probably are a little still. You no, I just have really sleepy, like hound dog eyes. So I, I always look high, even so, but whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, Jimmy, Jimmy liked. He was into some weird shit. It's kind of uh, I know he had this thing about video, like filming women walking away from the hotel. Hmm. They said they found this big collection of like home movies of him hanging out off hotel room balconies, like. Well, as the, they walked away? The walk, as they walked away. Whoa. That was some kind of weird Interesting. fetish. What is that? He was not guilty on the charges. They well, don't know that they might have been planted on him. Oh, so they interesting. They're not sure if they're Interesting. Is, is interesting. Yeah. It said he had no drug paraphernalia in his luggage or needle tracks on his arms. No. Hmm. He smoked pot, but he didn't oh, like... Oh, they might have fucking framed him. The plot that, that, dude, that dude was too creative and, and prolific. Just in the the amount of time he was alive to have been a junkie, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you gotta, but don't you, do you gotta you make he, a junkie get up and do shit? That's true. But they say that about potheads too. But I know a lot of pretty prolific potheads. I don't buy that. I don't either. Smoking pot gets me off the couch. Yeah, right. It makes you a little yeah, paranoid. Totally. Yeah, like, I gotta get <laughs> I gotta get some shit it done. Just, well, you know, like I'm maybe not working hard enough. It makes me feel like that. Like I could be getting more shit done. Yeah. They said Lennon actually, you know, when he was on heroin for a while, but that motherfucker laid in bed with like 18 cats, hmm. you know, and it didn't do anything. And then they said Paul would be like, oh, I've got some songs. We've got to make a record. And he'd be like, God damn it. Wake up. I have to write five songs in a week. Oh, really? Because he just, they said he just lay around like, like, like a sloth, butt wow. naked until all the, all the maids to pretend like he wasn't there when he walked through the kitchen, butt naked to get, a, get a glass of milk. <laughs> you couldn't do that anymore. They'd take your house. Yeah. 